Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go in and unwrap this thing. Okay, and I will warn you, this is going to be hard. Okay, but it will teach you loads of stuff. First off, what to aim for first. And I answer that question by saying the median line. If I use Alt and Shift, I can click here and mark this seam. Okay. Now, just by going over here and marking that one seam, if I unwrap this, what happens? Well, this. Okay, this big giant jumbled mass. And the reason for this is it, it doesn't know how to unwrap yet. So I have to teach Blender how to unwrap this. Shift and Alt allows you to highlight many of these edge loops. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try to cut it down the middle first. I'm going to do that by marking all the seams that deal with the middle of the weapon. Now, does that work in all cases? No. Uh, just this one. Each, each 3D model is different. Okay, once I get that part, wouldn't it be hard for it to try to figure out how to unwrap this part? Like, what would happen here? It wouldn't, been, it wouldn't be able to unwrap. So I'm going to introduce you to uh, my methods of kind of unwrapping complex forms. And th the first method is find the median line. The second method is re make relief cuts. And only make relief cuts on areas that are non-edge looped. Okay, so here, here's what I mean by that. Uh, Alt and Shift, this is edge loop, so I wouldn't want a relief cut here. I would only want relief cuts where there's no edge loop. Uh, in this case, I had to zoom way in, and this area right here is a non-edge looped area because it does not go all the way around. It stops here on the form. And the reason why I do that is because later on, I'm going to show you polygon reduction methods um, that will require that the edge loops be eliminated. Okay, So that way, all the non-edge looped areas have the relief cuts, and I don't I, I'm not worried about getting rid of those because I can't get rid of those. Okay, so this is where I start playing around with the whole navigation with my junky mouse thing. So, E, Mark Seam. And I'm going to make that same relief cut here. Okay, there we go. Getting it down pat. Um, another thing you're going to experience in Blender is the fact that if you model in Maya and then UV in Blender, uh, you're going to get this huge uh, learning curve thing going on. But don't worry. It happens to the best of us. Okay, in this case right here, I messed up. So, Control e clear seam. And I'm going to move... that right here so let me see what that was do 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 yep okay let's go to the other side and do that and you just keep the box analogy in your head how do I unwrap this box this is a giant box how do I unwrap it I also like to keep the number of shells down to a minimum. So instead of uh, having this right here, this median line being cut, I'm going to actually control E, clear this seam, and then redirect this line over to here. And when it does unfold this box, it'll keep the number of shells down that way. Oops.
and this is going to take a couple videos to just unwrap this. There's no doubt about it. It is a serious beast. Okay, so I'm always testing this. What happens? If it's going to go down here, it's going to unwrap. Is it going to unwrap? So you are L on the keyboard first. You unwrap. And I'm getting this thing. So it's not, it's not going quite well. So I'm going to recut it here. And there we go. I got two shells. That's good. Two big shells. Now we look at for distortion. This is distortion right here. This is overlapping UVs. How do I get rid of those? Well, I start making more relief cuts. And meet me in the next video where I make a little bit more relief cuts and show you where to maybe make those cuts the smart way.